It is at sunset. Is it that wonderful time that happens every day when the sun goes down over our western horizon as the earth speeds around in its, in its orbit that we look out upon um, the nature and we see these rays of light that are like beacons to us, are like remembrances, and like reminders to us of the infinite power of the solar energy and of the energy that's beyond the sun. Do you think that the energy is the energy of the sun is the only energy that we have? There's also the lunar energy. There's the energy of Mercury. There's the energy of Venus. There's the energy of Mars, the bountiful energy, protective energy of Jupiter, the solidifying energy of Saturn, the electrifying energy of Uranus, and the mystical energy of Neptune, and the concentrated passion and intensity of Pluto. All these energies that we can see when we are having a sunset and also when we have sunrise, these are the two main things that I like to focus on as the most important times of the day for us to passionately devote ourselves just for a moment sometimes, just for a moment, to realizing where we are in between the microcosm that's below and the macrocosm that's above, how we hold this place in the middle of infinity, swimming between these two points kind of like on an infinite scale. Here we are, subject to these powers, these powers of, inf of infinite energy, to the power of the sun, which is so many hundreds times larger than Earth, that gives us all of our light and creates nature and has created everything that we see around us over these last four billion years or so. So that is a wonderful source of, of light to shine upon us and for us to take in that light, to imagine that that light is penetrating into us and informing us and energizing us. That's um, amazingly important that we do that and that we do that every day. The, um, the Muslims, the Muslims, uh, Islam has done this for more than a thousand years, but they have made a mistake. They bow towards Mecca and I don't see that there's any need to bow towards Mecca. What you need to bow towards is towards either the rising sun or the setting sun. Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious that a place on earth is not to be worshipped? What should be worshipped is this is the is the power and the divine energy that stands behind this luminous globe of light, this this huge macrocosmic Adam, that we have only begun to try to figure out what it is and what how we are a part of it. But I know being an astrologer that it has an effect in everyone's life depending on what time of year, what day of what year they are, a person is born. And the combinations of the other planets, they, they create specific effects that influence you know those particular people and, and the people around them. Sometimes these people are good, sometimes they're bad. Sometimes, you know, we have geniuses and sometimes we have uh, troublemakers. But there, place, there is obviously a place for them on the earth because they were all created by the energies that come from that, that globe over there that is setting. 